Today, you are going to learn how to create the CUI animation in DaVinci Resolve. What we need are a folder, this loading screen, close icon, all in PNG format. And you can download it from flaticon.com. And lastly, the stars with the black sky image that you can download it from websites like Pixels or Freepik. First, we are going to start with the design and then the animation. No shit. Let's add a fusion composition to the timeline, then right click and click on open in fusion page. Let's create a gradient background, just drag it from here and connect it to the media out. And then in the inspector tab, change the type to gradient. And from the viewer, you can rearrange it like this. Let's change the color to a purple color, then in the bottom one, copy the same color, but here make it a darker one, and you'll have a nice gradient. Now, add another background node and connect it to the circle mask from here, and in the inspector, uncheck the slider so we can have only the outline. And again, in the background, make it a gradient and change the color to a lighter purple on one side and even lighter on the other side. Now, in the ellipse node, bring it to the bottom and change the size of it from the viewer and also by using the inspector settings. And when you're done, let's add the stars image to get a nice detail to the scene. Just change the apply mode to screen so we can have only the stars. But it's all over the place, so connect it to a circle mask and change its position and size to where the outline is. And increase the soft edge and in merge to reduce the blend just a little bit. And you'll have this nice touch. Now add another background with the first one, but this one connected to a rectangle mask. Increase the width and bring it to the bottom again and increase the soft edge. And for the color, drag the qualifier of the background color to the viewer and release it when you choose the purple color. To make it pop, click on merge 3, shift plus space and add a soft glow node. And play with the glow size and gain until you are satisfied with the result. This way, we get a nice separation from the background. Now, let's add another background and connect it to a rectangle mask and change its size and keep it in the middle and increase the corner radius a little bit. For the color, change it from the background node to a darker purple. What we are going to do now is to create a glassy effect to this rectangle. So after the merge node, shift plus space and add a Gaussian blur. And again, add a soft glow. Now, drag from rectangle 2 like this to the blue triangle of the Gaussian blur and also again to the soft glow node. This way the two nodes will only affect the rectangle mask and not the background. The last step to apply the effect is by reducing the blend of the merge 4 over here to like 0.6 to 0.7. And as you can see we have like glossy effect to it. It's not perfect I know, so keep playing with the blur strength and the glow settings to get the look that you want. Now, to create an outline to the rectangle, we're going to add the edge detect node after the background 4. It's added automatically, but it needs some adjustment to it. So, in the inspector tab, check on edge mask overlay so we can bring back the color. And to control the look of it, just play around with the width, the brightness and gamma settings over here, but keep the blur to a zero. And if you want another color, in the mode, change it to grayscale edges. And you can choose the color that you want from here. And there you go. Now, let's add the inner glow to the rectangle by copying the same edge detect node and paste it and it will be connected automatically. And in the settings, increase the blur settings to get the inner glow. And you can also play with the other settings as well. And as you can see, the rectangle has a modern design. Now, it's time to add the elements inside the rectangle. And we are going to put them within the same merge to help us later on with the animation. First, add the folder PNG and simply change its size and position by adding a transform node to it. And to change the color, before the transform node, shift plus space and add a color corrector node. And in the settings, you can change it from the hue and the saturation. And let's change it to a color that matches our scene. Now, let's add the close PNG, connect it after the transform node, and again change its size and position to the top right size, and reduce the blend a little bit. Click on the merge 6 and add a text node from here. And write a simple text like this and change the font and for the horizontal anchor, bring it to the left and resize it and change its position to the middle like this. Now I want to change the 8 megabytes word to another gray color without affecting the other text. So the best way to do it is by right click in the text box and click on character level styling. Here in modifiers, Go to the viewer and simply select the part that you want to adjust separately. 
and simply when you do your adjustment it will be done for only the part that you have selected I want only to change the color so by doing this you will avoid adding another text node it has become crowded here so rearrange the nodes to the top because there are other nodes that will be added now let's add a background and connect it to a rectangle mask and increase the corner radius and resize it like this and in the background change the color like the previous one and to add the outline just copy the previous edge detect node and paste it after the background 5 and it's done add another text node and let's write uploading and change the font the size and reposition to it to the top left side and again copy this text node and paste it after and simply write three points and bring it to the side like this because later on we are going to animate it separately now add the loading symbol but it's in the black color so to change it click on the background and rearrange it like this to be organized change the color to a white and click here in the merge of the background and in the operation over here change it from over to in and this way we change the color then simply resize it and put it beside the uploading word like this again rearrange the layers so we can add another background node but here we're going to connect it to a polygon mask instead and in the rear just draw two points from the left side to the right side change the background color to a white and in the polygon mask increase the border width and as you can see we created a loading bar that we can animate it later but before that just copy these three layers paste it and connect it by holding on shift go to the duplicate polygon and lower the border length so when we go to the background of the first polygon and change the color to a gray one as you can see we created another bar underneath it to complete the design to make the loading bar pops shift plus space and add a soft glow node to it and play with the glow size and gain until you reach the look that you want and finally we completed the design now to the animation part first let's animate the circle line simply click on the ellipse node and create a keyframe in the length move like 40 frames and create another one and back to the first one and lower it to zero and for the stars png just click on the merge two node and in the blend again create two keyframes like the circle line and lower it the first one to zero this way they will appear like this at the same time to smooth the animation open spline and the quick hack by the way if you want to find the keyframes of any animation fast just click here in the three dots and activate this option show only selected tools this way when you select a node or multiple nodes they are going to appear automatically so select the two graphs click on F to smooth it out and even further Ctrl plus T then in in and out option drag it like this for a smooth movement now to the loading circle simply in the merge setting of it create a keyframe in the angle and move to the last frame and create another one and change the last one to 360 to get a complete turn and if you want a motion blur to it go to the settings and activate it from here increase the shutter angle to 360 and put the quality at 4 or 5 and smooth the animation by selecting the graph and click on F now the loading bar click on the duplicate polygon and in the length create two keyframes like the loading screen and in the first one reduce it to zero and the last keyframe make it one and as you can see we have this animation but to make it live even more we are going to animate the three points so click on the text node of the points here in the right on create a keyframe in the beginning and move like 20 to 30 frames and add another one return to the first keyframe and lower it to zero and you will have this simple animation but it stops after only 30 frames and we want it to loop until the end to create this loop animation click on the text node and open spline select the whole graph click on F to smooth it and down here and click on this icon to set a loop and it's going to generate for us loop animation without we doing it manually and as you can see it loops until the last frame what left is the percentage counter number we are going to make our own so add a text node to the tree and up here in the inspector tab beside the text name right click and click on edit controls this window will pop up here we are going to make an option that allow us to create a number counter so we can animate it it's simple so bear with me here simply create a name for it in all caps or just the first letter or anything else in type keep it number and here in pages it's where the option is going to be so for me i always want it here 
in the text page. Now here check on it because we want only the integer numbers and for the range we want it from 0 to 100 and click on slider control and hit ok. If you notice down here there is another option has appeared which is going to allow us to make our animation but we can't see anything. So to show it go up here in the text box right click and click on expression. This new box appears that we will write a simple line inside it. Again just bear with me. Up here copy the name of this node. For me, it's text free without any spaces. Just delete this and write it here. Then add one point, then write the same name that we created previously and make sure to write it as it is and don't change anything and hit OK. And as you can see, the number is shown and you can animate it easily like this. But before that, we are going to add the percentage symbol beside it. So again, head to the expression box and to add a symbol or a word beside your counter, just write two points now write two quotation marks and inside them anything that you write is going to appear beside it. You want the percentage symbol so write it like this and hit ok. And there you go. If you want a space between them just hit space before the percentage and there you go. Now simply change the font size and the position to the right side. Then in the count slider create a keyframes in the beginning and one at the last one. Return to the first one and lower to zero and the second keyframe make it a hundred. And as you can see, we made a counter animation. The last animation that we're going to add is for the rectangle. So in the rectangle 2 node, in the width create a keyframe and move 20 frames and add another one. And lower the first one to 0. It's kinda boring, so we are going to add a bouncing to it. After the second keyframe, add 3 more. After 6 frames, then 4 frames, then 3 frames. This way we will get a nice bounce. Lower the keyframe after the second one, not so much then increase the next one a little, then the last one leave it as it is and you'll get this nice bouncing effect to it. To smooth it, open spline and select the whole thing and hit S this time. Go to the settings and activate the motion blur and there you go. Now the reason why we kept these notes in the same nerve is so when we copy this rectangle mask that we animated and then paste it and simply connect it to this node tree is going to show with the rectangle at the same time and gives us this nice folding animation. The whole animation is basically done but to add like a shade on the top we need to add a camera animation to it. Just add an adjustment layer above the fusion composition, make it the same length and then in the inspector tab add the keyframe in the zoom over here and move a little when the rectangle appears then add another one. Then return to the first keyframe and zoom a little bit so it appears like this. And to smooth the animation right here, right click in the first keyframe and ease out. And for the second one, click in ease in. And there you go, without any graph adjustment. Again, add another adjustment layer but resize it like this beside the second keyframe. This way another animation will happen after the zoom is gone. In the inspector tab, resize this scene and bring it to the right like this. Then create two keyframes in the position, one in the beginning and one in the last frame. Then bring the last one to the left side and make it perfectly centered like this. And again, easy in the animation like we did before. And there you go, a nice zoom. Then right away, another animation that follows the loading bar with the other elements. I hope this was useful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.